Hey, what's up everybody? It's uh, Coach Paul here with The Code Revolution, uh, coming to you with one of my first videos. What I wanted to do today was talk about something we use in the school here uh, to teach programming, uh, to teach a little bit of robotics, um, you know, how we use that in the school, uh, and, and how, why it's really uh, such, such an awesome thing. There's tons of implications. Um, it's the Raspberry Pi. All right, so a lot of people don't know what that is, and even though I've got some links on my website about how to get one, uh, it's still a little confusing. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes here talking about the Raspberry Pi. Um, what is a Raspberry Pi? That's a Raspberry Pi, okay? Um, it's tiny, it's what we call a single board computer, SBC. It's kind of the rage these days because this computer does everything um, it's got four USB ports on the back for keyboard, mice, um, anything you want to use USB for. It's got an Ethernet if you want to plug directly into your home router. Uh, you don't have to do that uh, because it's actually got built-in Wi-Fi. Um, it's got HDMI support so you can plug into your monitor, your TV, whatever you need to. Uh, it's got a little headphone jack as well, so you know you're, you have you get this for your kids, which is awesome because it's basically running a version of Linux. So to, to me, it's really safe in terms of um, viruses, those kinds of things. You don't really have to worry as much about your kids going out there and searching for stuff and coming across you know some kind of file that they downloaded accidentally. Um, but you know you want your kids to do things you know quietly. Obviously, it's nice to have a headphone jack. Um, and then it's got a little micro uh, USB, which is a power. So one of the awesome things about these things is they're super low power. Um, they don't, you don't even need a fan for this guy. So it, it, it runs, it can run all day long. You never, obviously never notice that on your power bill. You never hear it either, which is the best part uh, because fans make noise. And when your computer's running, you can usually hear it. Um, so, so again, this is a little Raspberry Pi. We've got some, some pins right here that we can use for LED and other connections. We've got a little camera mount here. Uh, and why that's cool, there's tons of implications there with the camera mount because, for example, here's another Raspberry Pi I've got, camera. And what I've done is actually connected this um, through the USB to my 3D printer. So I'm using Octoprint, which is another video but we can get to that. Um, just some of the cool implications with uh, Raspberry Pi. So essentially that is a Raspberry Pi in a nutshell. It is a single board computer. I said they're all the rage. I've actually got another one right here. This is another, this is called the Odroid. Similar instance, it's actually got a fan. This one's, I like this one because the fan, you know, is heat sensitive. So it only comes on when the CPU gets hot enough. Um, and this is actually running uh, Minecraft server. So another cool exercise we do at the Code Revolution is teach uh, teach you how to run Minecraft server, uh, so you can actually do development on Minecraft, or you know you've just got your own Minecraft server running in your house. It's safe; nobody else can get to it. Um, so that's that's essentially it. Um, something else that comes with the Raspberry Pi that we can talk about really quick is these little heat sinks. I can get them off the box. Um, get them out of the bag. So one of the things when we don't use fans in computing to keep things cool, is we do use what we call heat sinks. Um, and that is literally what you think it means. Um, it's a little, I'm not sure how else to explain it. Uh, basically it draws the heat off the CPU and then just allows air inside the room naturally to flow over this and just cool it off. So it just provides a much larger surface area for your CPU to cool it off. Um, and so what's great about this is it's just simple. You open it up, stick the heat sinks on there. Um, you do need a little micro uh, USB to download uh, Raspbian, which is the operating system for this. Um, and that's another video coming up. But anyhow, I, I hope that's helpful. Uh, what a Raspberry Pi is, just a little single board computer. Um, look it up, learn about it, come to the Code Revolution, you can see them in use. Thanks a lot.